Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of cancer. I don't know, I feel the need to say that because I've been getting a lot of energies that seem to be related to new situations. And I noticed that many people are still relating every single reading and every situation to the past. And as your reader, I have to tell you, only you can determine if something you feel is for past, present, or if it's a future prediction. Some readings are related to situations that you have not experienced yet. Keep that in mind. Especially when it comes to relationships. Every love reading does not have to apply to a current or past person. It could be someone that you have not even met yet. Don't cheat yourself out of new blessings and abundance. Wow. <laughs> Eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Exactly. Exactly. Walk away from what doesn't serve you. In this particular deck, though, this Eight of Cups, this person is walking. It's not so much focus on what this person is walking away from, but what they are walking towards. This person is walking towards like this, th th their own personal journey. You know, your journey could could definitely could have an uphill battle, but the thing that it's rewarding. This person is searching for fulfillment and being guided. I don't. I'm yeah. It's very nice. And here is the moon. So it's like you're being guided out of some type of illusion for sure. Having this revelation that it's time for you to go on a new, wow, Knight of Wands and the Empress, Ace of Wands, Ooh, strength, and the Dreamer. So this is absolutely, if you want, this is all new. This is something new. No, no questions, no doubts, no concerns. This is a new energy, 100%. Whatever has happened, it has happened. Like I said, take the lesson from it, move forward. But this is a new energy. We'll see what this is related to, but this comes from having the strength and the courage to believe in yourself to go towards something brand new. The Ace of Wands is here with the Empress. Somebody could be rushing in towards you. You have the Knight of Wands or the Empress. If you are not planning to... <laughs> conceive at this time, I would say be careful because the Knight of Wands is someone that's very confident and passionate, adventurous, going towards the Empress. There's two cards here of a, ch uh, a child, mother and child. In all, in all three of these cards, there's a little girl here. This could be a prediction for someone that there's going to be um, the birth of a, a child. Specifically a girl. This little girl will be very special. Wow. For some reason, the way this strength card is here, it feels like someone here, you have a, a purpose. This is very specific. You have a purpose to raise a, a child who's going to be very, very mighty, very strong, very mystical, majestic, extremely powerful. All three of these cards has a, a child on it. And then you have the woman here on this strength card with this, this lion. I feel like this lion is actually the, the, this child. This dreamer. This child could be a dreamer. They could have a very strong, strong spiritual gift. Like a really strong spiritual gift. Meaning they could be a, a dreamer, but this, this child is extremely protected. They need a lot of protection as well. So for some of you, there's a lot of things that you've had to walk away from because of your mission and your purpose. You're being guided. Some of you are being guided literally to like a spirit baby. And I just spoke about this the other day about a lot of divine feminists who have suffered a lot from like, unfortunately, womb magic. 
He has six of wands here, queen of wands. A lot of fiery energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We are in Aries season right now, but you're going to have success. For somebody here, this is a very specific message, this portion. If you have been trying to conceive, this could be a confirmation for you. Of course, that's not everyone's story. The birth of this child, this or children, you know, energetically also just represents new beginnings. But this, all three of these cards has a, a little girl specifically. This child, if it's a child for some of you, looking at their strength card, if this isn't you, it's like you're raising this child to be this lioness, but this person is going to... This child is very powerful. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to reveal too much more, but there is... um. Yeah, there's a spiritual gift or talent, an ability that this child has. And with the moon out here, the moon and the dreamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're needing to hold this very close to yourself. Nine of Pentacles. You have to be very responsible with whatever this purpose is that you have. This is something that brings a lot of success. It's life, life changing, but whoa. I feel strongly because after a few days ago, me, me speaking myself about womb magic and children there's clearly someone here that needs this message four of pentacles if you've been holding on ten of swords three of swords or some kind of heartbreak um betrayal a, even a loss you've been dealing with some type of sorrow it has been hard for you to forgive you've been trying to heal especially if it has to do with transformation something here happened suddenly and this could have to do with someone's child, a pregnancy, a new beginning, an offer, an opportunity, could be a financial, whatever this is, you're getting this back. But to be honest with you, you have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. This feels for some, wow, and the sun, yes. Four of swords, here's another child. There's a connection out here. And if you've like lost Lost the child, they're coming back. The sun, look, there's a little boy here on this card. And then the sun, four swords and the sun. It's like there's this child that's like, yep, I'm just waiting on the right time. 419, Taurus, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Strength, Leo. Aries, strong. Some of y'all could cons be given some blessing very soon. And I really hate to say this, but I, I have to. If you've had someone that has been trying to block you from receiving an opportunity, and especially trying to block you from possibly even having like a child or a relationship. That situation is closing. You've had a lot of heartache, pain, and disappointment about this loss. Either you have a very successful king of pentacles that has caused you to go through these losses or this is who's coming in for you. Five of Pentacles, though. Look at the, it has taken a lot of healing and comfort 
for you to get to a place now of completion to be able to move forward for whatever this is. It's three cards out here of girls and it's three cups that spilled over. This goes hand in hand literally with something that I just posted. The chariot, yeah. You're moving forward towards this passion in the beginning. And there's consequences for whoever collaborated here. Look at this. Look at the wheel with all the with all the babies on there. Whoever has been out here um, doing things to affect the wheel, timing, cycles, or whatever, eight of wands, the five of wands, that energy is being sent back to that person, five of wands and the devil card. A lot of conflict, a lot of negativity is being returned to its sender for whatever they've done. To stop someone's blessings. These could be financial blessings, children, family, business opportunities, whatever. Yeah, you're being released from whatever this is here. And then the star, wow, strength. Your compassion, your courage has brought, brought about a, a major ending. There could be a um, Scorpio heavily involved in a situation. I'm getting something here between November 7th and November 13th. November 7th, November 17th, November 13th. Yeah, this is this is somebody here. This, I'm getting a Scorpio. You have a Scorpio out here who prepared. Who scheduled some type of conflict or ritual or something here. So that you would miss an opportunity. I'm getting a um, Scorpio, Capricorn out here, Taurus. Something could happen between May 10th and May 15th. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Someone's going to get communication a very fast moving. The universe is about to hit somebody hard for this Seven of Swords energy. And you see here on this card, it's a boy and a girl here. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Whoever did something to some children or affected someone's ability to have children or caused someone to lose their children in a legal situation or anything else, that energy is going back to somebody tenfold. There's no way they can stop this. What's today? Today is April 15th. Between now and May 15th, something is going to happen. There has to be justice served for all of these innocent parties in this situation, especially children. These children are speaking from the other side. They want justice. And these are very powerful children. So even if these are spirit babies, these spirit babies, they're coming into 
this lifetime, like, kicking the door down, ready, like, <laughs> so who, who was attacking me before I got here? It's that type of, I don't know, that's really what I'm getting here. I'm seeing right now the movie, um, if you've ever seen, of course, Twilight, and if you have seen it, most people have. Their child, because the child was half human, half vampire, the child grew so fast because, you know, I guess, you know, in, in movies and TV shows, vampires grow really, really fast. So she didn't have like a normal, a normal pregnancy. The child grew extremely fast and was very, very strong. And, you know, vampires, they age differently. I just, I cannot stop looking at these cards. It's like this angel is telling this child, like, go pick, go pick your parents. The child, the, 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 the child, the baby picks the mom and then shows up with a wand in their hand <laughs> and then grows to be this really strong person that can tame lions. Whoever messed with this particular space, um, spirit baby or what? It was it was bad. The, the karma that they're gonna receive for this, the karma somebody's entire bloodline is cursed because they have delayed this child, hurt this child, whatever. Somebody's entire bloodline is cursed for doing this. This is a very specific message. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. I'm telling you. It's page of one, same little girl. It's showing the progression. This queen of cups here, this, this right here is like a psychic. This card says psychic. And then you have here four of cups and ace of swords. See, somebody here was playing around with these three cups. Somebody was playing around and it's like a, a little boy and a little girl out here. My print, my printer just started going, and there's absolutely nothing to explain how or why that just happened. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. My printer just started working. <laughs> That's a little But here you have this Ace of Swords. Okay, so there could be a. There's this angel here with this this little boy with the sword. And there's an angel here with this little girl. This is like a, a male and female child. I don't know if this is one person or more than one. Some of you, maybe you're expecting a boy or a girl. Queen of Cups, Page of Wands. This little girl is extremely creative. Motivated, courage, like courageous. They have this Leo like energy, strength. And then this boy with the ace of swords, this is someone this part this this little boy could be like a, a genius or very discerning. A king of swords to me carries that like Archangel Michael energy. Queen of Cups and this four of cups. So somebody here very self-absorbed, discontent, bored, unhappy with their life could have possibly attacked someone. Eight of Pentacles. Mm -mm. Five of Swords. Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here is like ashamed and very afraid. That somebody's like, what did you do? Because somebody here, even me, I I'm, I know, I recognize this energy. This is you assessing and evaluating a situation and coming to the realization that someone worked very, very hard 
to bring some kind of discontentment to your nine of pentacles, your finances, your home life, your family life. This person, they know karma is coming. They know it. Nine of swords. They already know. And here's the king of swords. Archangel Michael, who is very well respected, is cutting through all of the illusions and just like, yeah, we know what you did last summer. That's what I heard. We know what you did last summer. Five of Pentacles. Somebody may now be hoping for some type of help or assistance. They're sorry. Yeah. King of Cups. Somebody now they're sorry. Oh, this person is sorry now. They're sorry. Now they're they're possibly saying, you know, they want help, they want forgiveness. They're learning, they're growing, they understand things more now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nope, page of swords. It doesn't matter. Yeah, somebody wants to come clean. And they 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 may decide to come clean. Three of Wands. You could have communication coming in from someone of them, you know, asking for your forgiveness. Be careful, though, because this person could possibly try and do this, like, in the spirit. Because I don't feel like this person can actually face you. No, because this hermit, this person may try to come to you cloaked in some type of way. I wouldn't trust it. I don't, I don't, for some, this, this feels off to me. How can you be like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Wise counsel could be a Taurus. Two of swords. Yeah, this could be someone here. They know better, but they, they didn't care. And they've avoided you in some way. They're hoping that you will be generous and give them grace and mercy. It's not up to you. This, this is not up to this divine feminine or masculine at all. You have a six of pentacles here, renewal and the emperor. Awakening and the eight. This is somebody new. It's a divine feminine out here who's going into a union with someone else. They're supposed to have a family. And someone who has been tampering with this in the background, especially with someone's ability to produce and their, their finances. Mm -mm. Whoever this new emperor is, they're selfless. They come in bringing or creating abundance and prosperity with you. New opportunity, bringing you resources. They want to protect you. Yeah, for sure. They want to 100% protect you. Justice. This is your justice. And there will be justice served. Wow, justice in the Ace of Cups. Whoa. Justice, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the freaking Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, Nine of, of Water, Nine of Cups. Justice. Is that a, another little girl? That's another little girl. Ace of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have the happy family that you're supposed to have. Justice. You, you, it's coming back. And whoever this person is, whether it was a masculine or feminine or both, they're stressed out. Ten of Wands. They're very stressed out. They never saw this happening. They never thought that you would recognize that you had your own free will and you would get out of this mental entrapment and see what was going on. They never thought that would happen. Wow. Oh boy. Let me see something with this particular video. The in front of three of what? This is not even. This is cards from a totally different deck. 
the I'm like the emperor and the three of wands. So something is coming in and being manifested, but in this you have the emperor and the knight of cups. You have a divine masculine that's coming in. And they bring the Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles could be a business, a financial opportunity, resources, children, the tower. But first, but first the tower has to come down. Wow, look at this. Well, first the tower must hit. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower and the Seven of Wands. First, this karma has to be delivered. Dang. And like I said, somebody never thought you would stand up for yourself. They never thought that you would fight back. They wanted you in this Ten of Swords. That's what they wanted for you. While they, they did all of this behind your back. Like I said before, playing around with your natal will of fortune, using tarot, astrology, the occult, playing around, you know, trying to watch and monitor different transits or cycles, periods, whatever. They did all of this in the background. Now, could be a Scorpio. This person here is going to be fighting for their lives. Just at this point, they're very stressed, overworked, overwhelmed because they never thought that what they were doing in the background would catch up to them. They never saw that coming. This is someone who honestly thought like, oh, you know, there is no return to send that they can hit them. There's nothing they could ever hit them, right? Wrong. Well, the chariot and while they're getting hit you're moving towards love love of self you said for some of you children new opportunity it's just emotional fulfillment wow four of wands look at that four of wands ace of wands you have to carry this burden for the longest and now you finally get to celebrate Judgment and the Ten of Wands. Judgment. And whoever did this to you, they're stressed. Very stressed. Look, because everything went wrong. Five of Cups, they're very disappointed. Whatever this is they did to this person, Queen of Cups, who was expecting what they did, went wrong. Wow. Queen of Cups and behind it is the Empress. This, when I tell you this is a specific message, Justice. Somebody is going to jail, okay? Spiritual jail or real jail for what they did to a mother. And this could have been a mother who did this to their child or to another mother to be. I don't know. But it's heavy mother energy out here. 